it is finally summertime in Seattle and we've got beautiful watermelons. So gentlemen, I'm gonna leave this for you to uh, make some magic. All right, we're gonna show you two delicious watermelon recipes today. Uh, if you listen to Seattle Kitchen very often, you know that we kind of come at food from different angles, although today I think we're pretty similar. So I did this last night. I took two slices of watermelon and I, you know, you take you the seeds off. You had nothing up. better to do last night? No, than... I was bored. So, I, you know, before I went to bed, I'm like, I brushed my teeth and I went, oh, watermelon in the sous vide. Two slices of watermelon, mm -hmm. put a couple of leaves of tarragon, and then put that in a bag mm -hmm. and sous vide it. So what I'm going to do for my salad is I'm going to do this. On top of it, I'm going to mix some little Dungeness crab meat that I have right here, pulled out of the crab, fresh. And I'm going to put a little bit of hazelnut oil on top of the crab because I like the nutty flavor added to the crab. Mm -hmm. And put that right on top of the watermelon. I'm going to make a quick vinaigrette on the side with Coleman mustard, a little bit of rice vinegar and some olive oil. And I'm going to drizzle that right on the outside on the watermelon so it gives that tanginess match with the wateriness of the watermelon and be done with it. What do you think of that? You're telling me everyone has a little air, air packer in their home? Of course. No. They do now. I bet you don't either. I bet it was at work. It was I bet at it was, work. Yeah, it was exactly. Work. It's been compressed and it's... Let me show you. Try this. Is the texture change a little bit? Yeah. Is it's, it compressed? Yeah, but it doesn't compress the flavor. You know, watermelon no, 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 is no, but 92% water, right. so it tastes more like a pickle. Oh, because, okay. you know, it's more firm. Right, right. Uh -huh. And that's the idea. The idea is you compress the watermelon. But it doesn't change the flavor. No, no, no. It's not meant to change the flavor. It's meant to change the texture. Okay, while you're doing that, I just simply cut up a fresh watermelon. I'm taking some barrel-aged, oak barrel-aged feta from Greece. And I'm just going to sprinkle it over top of my watermelon. Yeah, that is, that is definitely a Greek dish there. Yeah. One of the favorite way they do it. And then I'm taking a fresh flaked sea salt. Not too much because the feta is plenty salty. A little fresh grind of black pepper. And then I like to add some heat to my watermelon. So a little dried chili. Finish with a touch of olive oil. Some sprigs of fresh thyme. We are done with our watermelon salad. It's just as, as simple as that. And I think that, what, what are you doing to that poor thing? I'm making a watermelon crab sandwich. Now you're gonna to be totally surprised, aren't you? Yeah, two bad slices doesn't make a good slice. Look what I have in my pocket. Oh, you travel with mustard? I always travel with mustard. Yeah, we never know. A little bit in the pot. I feel like I'm on the Cirque du Soleil. I'm going to pull something out really right now. It's actually really cool. I like the super strength. I mean, this is much stronger than anything on the planet. Mm -hmm. Roman is super dense and really intensified. And because I want to cut through that watermelon. So you did vinegar, Coleman's, and uh, rice vinegar and olive oil. That's it. This is, gonna, this is starting to look like an Andy Warhol or It painting. is supposed to be Andy Warhol. Okay. And I have some corn flour because it's summer. Tarragon inside, chai blossom on top, corn flour. You know, it's a very festive July, August kind of appetizer. And then calendula, some fresh parsley from the garden. Now you have a meal. You don't even need to go anywhere. This is what I was going to make. It's a cocktail for us, my friend. It's, just, water, it's just watermelon and I pressed. Hey, 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 hey. Yes. Oh, how about some of this? <laughs> Just a little bit of tequila. Little okay. That's a little. Couple of ice cube. This is my favorite blender in the world. Look at that. Here you go, buddy. Cheers. Here's the watermelon. Mmm. Had a great summer. I made a fresh watermelon salad with aged feta in an oak barrel fresh thyme, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and a touch of hot chili to bring out the sweetness and the heat combination. All right, just to recap, two slices of watermelon that have been obviously put sous vide and pressed in, you know, just to make it delicious. And then uh, in the middle is a crab salad, just Dungeness crab meat mixed with uh, toasted almond, mokona almond, and a little bit of hazelnut oil. And then on top, it's just a little dressing made out of uh, rice vinegar, olive oil, Coleman mustard, and Lots of green vegetables from the garden and flowers. So I think a couple of tips about watermelon. Uh, when you're making one in a blender like we did, right. you really have to be careful how much liquid you add because as soon as you hit pulse, it turns to water. It turns to water, yeah. yeah so you yeah. gotta be very careful with that. Uh, the other is it's got a light sweetness, so I always like to combine it with salt. Yeah. Salt so, and vinegar works really well, acid. Yeah. yeah. But uh, And then try and find an heirloom watermelon that has a ton of flavor. This time of year, you should be able, really be able to find something that 
kicks butt. And don't put your watermelon in the fridge, only put it in the fridge maybe a few minutes after you slice it, you know, just before you serve it. Give it a little chill on the outside, but I'm not a big fan of putting it in the fridge yeah. like two days before. I wouldn't put it in the fridge at all. Right. Yeah. Man, that's not at all and that's a little bit, so uh, there we go. So I wouldn't do it at all. <laughs> I think you should make up your own mind, see which one tastes better. I like the crab, it's really nice. The texture of this is lovely. Although I will say I like the freshness of that, that watermelon over there. It's not surprising really. It's just uh, probably the way it, it's not surprising. It's just watermelon. Hmm. Well, both are delicious. I think you guys made magic with the uh, with the whole watermelon thing, so kudos, <laughs> gentlemen. Have a drink. Oh, thank you. Yeah, more watermelon. We, we had some left over. A little bit. Ooh, and some tequila apparently too.